Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Thursday and I <laughs> have not been here all week. I'm sorry. It has just been busy. I don't know why. I hate that the weeks just fly by and the days just fly by and it just, I told John, it seems like every day we have an appointment and or something to do and I just wish there were more days, you know, just with nothing to do, but I guess that's life, isn't it? Okay, today I wanted to show you several different things, but I'm going to start off first with probably what you're noticing already. One, I got my hair done yesterday, and I woke up this morning, and um, uh, last night I just used the spray style extender, which I think is probably going to be too light for me. I say that, but it's probably going to be perfect if I use something else heavier. But last night I just used the Style Extender spray and then I used another spray. And my hair is real like flyaway and kind of um, borderline frizzy today. So I, my bangs are just, or my side pieces are just kind of like hanging. So I put them back just to get them out of my face. And then I was going to, this was going to be the whole reason of the video, is the new Naked Smoky Palette. I bought this last Friday. So after I did my video, I think that was the first day that it came out, I bought this and something else I'm going to show you. And I'm not a big fan of any of the Naked palettes. I don't go to them. Um, um, I had two sets, one for Brooke and I, and I think I sold mine, and then Brooke has hers. And we both like the Naked Basics palettes even better. But this one kind of just, and I still haven't taken the little thing off of my mirror. But um, this one kind of just intrigued me a little bit because it had cooler tones in it. And I'll try not to blind you. But um, so I've used it twice before today. And then today I got this wise idea that I was going to follow one of these. I think I was going to throw away the box. And I thought, well, let me make sure there's nothing in here I want to do. And so I saw these and I said, well, for my video, I will follow one of these exactly so I followed the smoky reality star which the reason I did is because it has a winged out liner so that's a given that's what I would want and so I followed it exactly even things that I probably would not have done the only thing I didn't do is I didn't use the zero 24 7 liner from urban decay I have a bunch of those but I don't have the black one and I think it's because I give those away because they're just not my favorite. I ended up using the L'Oreal Intense, that real fat one that I have with the, it's more like a Kajal. So I did have to use that. And I used everything they told me. And then when I got through, of course I didn't use their mascara, I used my new favorite, which is that new CoverGirl. Um, I can't remember the name of it, I'll put it right here. I always forget the name, but it's that new one. It is just like my favorite between that and the Tarte, and then I like the Chanel. There's a few of them I like, but I go to that CoverGirl first. Um, so I followed everything, and then I got through, and I looked at my makeup, and ordinarily I probably would not have gone as heavy down below, because they had me put liner and then smoke it out with the shadow. And so that made it heavier than I'm typically used to, but I wanted to do it like they told me to, and I typically would not have used so much of the silvery tones but, um, I mean, it did look pretty, and I am glad I did. I did notice when I first started off, you know, smudging out the liner with that color, the black market, that was really pretty. So, I'll probably try that again. But, when I got through, I could not help myself. I had, had to put some, I got out my MAC Soft Brown, and kind of put a little bit of Soft Brown right in here, right in there, and underneath the black underneath. And that helped, you just wouldn't believe how much that softened the look just adding that little bit of warm shadow and I don't have on lashes it didn't call for lashes and my lashes are, are pretty decent right now so I didn't want to wear lashes and so this is the look and I tried to you know just go with it <laughs> but um so but anyway I wanted to go ahead and tell you my thoughts on the palette I like it I would have to say it's one of my favorite ones. The other day I did the prettiest look with these over here. This color, let's see, which one is it? Um, Combust. 
this really light color right here and I don't think you can see it very well I don't know you can see it pretty well I mean it's not you would think that it's so light it doesn't even make a difference but that is a really good crease color and then to just put something like that on the lid and then a little bit of that in the crease with you know it makes kind of like that uh, retro looking eye and I really like it and I like those purpley tones I really this I used in the corner they told me to use this in the inner corners today and I loved that that is a good all over color it's what they told me to do today I typically don't put anything all over uh, sometimes I do just depends on what kind of primer I use but um so anyway I would say if you're wondering if, is it worth it and I did use this brush and I had not even used it the whole time I had to take the plastic off of it really liked it I really really loved this smudger part especially when I was doing the top liner and this seems really nice too typically I don't like the duo fiber blending brushes but that one really isn't it just gets lighter on the ends it's really just as thick on the ends I believe I don't like it when they get real thin on the ends but um so I really like this I like the design it opens up nicely I believe it's a magnet it is and um, so I would say give it a try you know I think it's worth it even if you just used it for just some of those smoky colors and I've heard people say that you can find all those colors on in some of the other palettes and that's probably true but if you're like me I like to try new things and um, I like to have it all there in one palette I just think it's worth it okay so now I can throw away the box okay another thing that I was anxious to try is this and it's the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and the color I'm so glad I waited and didn't order this because I was going to either order warm beige or sand both of those were too dark for me so I ended up getting natural beige and the other day when I did a video and I put in the information that I had tried this or that I was wearing this and it was too dark that was the warm beige and the way that I can tell something's too dark now when I look at my videos is when I wear something too dark it almost emphasizes um, imperfections in the center of my face it almost emphasizes it's not as bright it's not as uh, I hate to say lifting but you know what I mean it's just not as pretty of a look and I really realized that I would I've realized that I would rather go lighter with my foundation and just you know contour or warm up, warm up the edges and so this has been perfect and I put a swatch of the HD makeup forever ultra HD on my hand one drop and then one drop of this and they're almost identical so much that that day I just mixed the two and wore them both and that was beautiful too so if you are if you want to try this and you are the makeup forever 127 I would say get the natural beige okay to the kind of semi review of this it has a pump it's just I think it's slightly thicker than the makeup forever just slightly maybe not but maybe that was my I think when I put it on my hand the bubble or the little drop was slightly thicker looking but and this is oil free made in Canada and um, it says absolute perfection foundation oil free this is beautiful it's what I have on today it is so pretty this is going to sound so corny it is so pretty that some days when I have used this on my Instagram it looks like I have photoshopped my face it is so smooth and I don't know if it's that the makeup really works that well or if it photographs that well or both but um I don't have the box here anymore it says the skin you were born to have um let's see I think that's pretty much it just trying to say oil free and I just love it now how would I compare it to the makeup forever I think this is more of a made up look I think it's just it's almost if you want your skin to just look like skin and hardly any makeup on but just look really really good then the makeup forever HD I think is better for you if you want to look flawless and to I don't know I hate to say look like a mannequin but just really look flawless especially with like a smoky eye you know how you want your skin to look really good then I would use this now today I did use the um, what is that the concealer mw20 mac pro Longwear in the center of my face so i hope that you that doesn't 
hope that you can still see the side, but this is all that I have everywhere else except for right just a little bit underneath my eyes. No big um, highlighting routine or anything, just literally underneath my eyes. So, and I hate to, you know, just tell you go get the Makeup Forever and then go get this, but that's how I feel. I feel like these two, what I have sitting out on my counter is this one, the Makeup Forever Ultra and my Rachel K CC Cream. The black original version, which is not available anymore, but there's several things. Any primer would probably work, but that's just what I use. And something different I've been doing is using my Beauty Blender. And I watched a video, Arielle Snyder was doing a video, and she was using hers, and her makeup always looks so good. And so I thought, I'm going to give that thing another try. And I really have been enjoying it, and this is why. Usually I don't have the patience for this thing, and I feel like it doesn't work you know, it doesn't work it into the crevices of my face as much, but I noticed that she was really using the side of hers. And she was really, instead of just doing like this, she was really kind of just dabbing and wiping at the same time. So that's what I've been doing, and it's been working a lot better. And I've really been, you know, to get, I have such a um, charismatic nose, <laughs> bumpy type nose. You know, I have to get in all those little crevices. And I like to put foundation over my eyes too, and that's really been working well with this. So, kind of using this again, which is weird for me because typically I like a brush, but I've been using it and I like it. So that's the two things that I want to tell you about. And then today I put this on, I thought I'm gonna go ahead and tell them about this too. This is the Bobbi Brown Pale Mauve, or however you say, I say mauve, you might say mauve, um, lip liner. And I thought I had this, but I actually had the pale pink. I saw one of the girls that I watch use this. It's a real um, cute Australian, I believe she lives in Australia, girl that does a lot of um, tutorials for hooded eyes. And I cannot remember her name right now. I will put the link down below, and I'll even put the video where she was using this down below. And she overlines her lips and she uses this color and I don't overline my lips I go right on the edge but I could tell when she put it on it was a good color and I like the colors that you use to overline your lips because usually they are a lip tone and so I got it the other day and I love it now it's a little if I had to say this was just something I threw on today I haven't tried it before I used it yesterday with Tom Ford Vanilla, Nude Vanilla, and it was so pretty. But today I used it with Urban Decay Native. I was trying to use something Urban Decay. And um, it looks maybe a little gray. I probably would have preferred something a little warmer with this because it's already such a cool lipstick. But it is just a beautiful, here it is. Let me see if you can see just the tone of it. Um, and I will... If I had to say what it's like, I would say kind of like Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, um, Lancome Natural Mauve, Too Faced, the Nude, you know, Perfect Lips Nude. It's along those lines. It is just really, really pretty, and it lasted all day. I need to bring some wipes up here. It lasted all day yesterday when my Tom Ford wore off. I ended up just putting on goodness what did I put on something else something that was out on my counter before we went to go eat so um, I really I like it a lot I recommend it so those were some things that I wanted to tell you about and then I want to show you some of my new Sheila Fajal jewelry because I have been uploading some things at night and they are so pretty and so different and it's taken me a long time plus I got the new the Parker and the I've got so much stuff to say. The Parker and the Trevor chain back in. I need to put on, what will I wear today? I think my earrings I have on are enough. But um, I wanted to tell you that I got those back in. Um, this is one of the new rings that I got and it is gorgeous. And I've even got another one that's similar that I will add. I think this is the Paris. And then there's another one that is really pretty and they're very inexpensive. They're um, caviar CZs, which I'm not sure that must be like a better version or a, a really nice CZ and um, 18 karat gold plated and I believe they are another less than a hundred dollars but look how pretty that looks and then I've been wearing it with 
this bubbles ring. And when I first saw this, I thought, I mean, when I, I think when I saw it on her website, I didn't know if I was going to care for it as much. I love the Jackie ring. And that same thing with the Jackie ring, I didn't realize how much I liked it until I wore it. When we went to New York, New York she let me wear one. And um, I love that they are adjustable. But yesterday I wore this combo. I wore this one on this finger and then wore the Jackie, fin Jackie ring over here. And then you squeeze it and they are just so pretty and so fun. And I got so many compliments just yesterday on that. It's just, I don't know, it's so neat. And I think they're flattering. I don't know, they make your hands look pretty. And so those were two things I wanted to tell you about today. I'm just going to wear this one since I have these earrings on. And then these earrings that I wore yesterday, and I had a hard time photographing them well enough, but they're the Envy CZ rings, earrings, and they are by far my favorite stud that she has done. They're just, let me see if I can put them um, right there, I guess. They're just little CZs. Let me see if my camera does what. There you go. And they're just beautiful. And they just go right up your ear. And I love them. So I've got these. And then these, this is the first time I tried these on. Look at these magnificent earrings. I'm, I can't even remember what these are called. Um, okay, these are called the Camilla. And I think these are just magnificent. I'm going to love these so much in the winter time with my black leather moto jackets or any of my faux furs or something. So they are this little like curved CZ shape that goes up your ear, which I, you know I've been loving that look of the going up the ear. I mean, imagine how these look with your hair up. Aren't they fabulous? And then they have these chains hanging from the back that are just so sparkly, but if that's too much for you, you also get a set of just regular backs with it. So you could just wear the CZ part. And I love them. And I knew that I was not going to be able to show them in a picture well enough. Hopefully I'll get a good picture today of what they look like. I'm going to do a quick outfit awesome. of the day. Nothing too eventful. Just some jeans. I haven't worn jeans in a while. And um, we, the kids and I have to go do some things. We've got an appointment at 3 and it's 12.52 so I better hurry. Yeah, so so I'll be right back. This is my outfit of the day. And I just wanted to wear some of my... I love all of my pumps that I bought last year and I haven't really been wearing them as much. And I figured out it's because I haven't been wearing jeans as much. I love pumps and boyfriend jeans. So I decided to wear these, which are Valentino, the camo. And then these jeans are my Citizens of Humanity Corey. Uh, I think they're like a cropped boyfriend. And um, this shirt is an older Wild Fox and it just has all kinds of different things on here, things that make you happy, like um, shopping all day, cold lemonade, watercolors, sodas in the fridge, <laughs> and um, so this is it for okay, So I guess that's it. Oh, my necklace is, I have not even taken this off, it's the one I told you or showed you last Friday, the diamond um, ashtray So I hope you guys necklace. have a good day and I will see you tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.